Hi everyone, I'm Garrett from Zip Scanners, where we make scanning easy. Today I'm going to introduce the G4 and G5 pagers from Unication. Unication G5 dual band pagers have the capabilities to alert your emergency calls by conventional two-tone paging and also listen to your P25 digital or P25 conventional radio conversations. The Unication G5 has LSM or simulcast capabilities and will keep you connected to your P25 digital systems at all times with seamless connection to the nearest tower for quality communications. We usually program for P25 trunking systems because conventional programming is a little more involved and you cannot listen to both trunking and conventional channels within the same zone or knob. Separating them isn't difficult, but you have to be aware of the difference between the conventional and trunking just so you don't end up putting both on the same system, and in which case you wouldn't be able to hear either. Uh, both conventional and trunking channels need to be on a P25 system. Trunking systems that contain a system ID and a WACN, W-A-C-N, are especially vital. We cannot program a trunking system without a system ID or WACN. Uh, these pagers are not capable with smart zone or smart net systems such as Motorola, the most widely used of these systems. I know a lot of you are on Motorola systems. Most are switched over to P25 phase one or phase two trunking. But just so you know, if you are on a Motorola system, this pager isn't going to work for you, at least at this time. Analog systems can be programmed, but why buy the cow when all you need is the milk? I treat this pager like a digital scanner and 90% of our unication programming is dedicated to P25 trunking, again with a system ID and a WACN. Uh, the programming software called PPS allows you to customize your pager in more ways than even the SDS 100 or 200 could do. You can alter the tone out settings to your liking, and you can color code the backgrounds of each talk group within each system, um, turn voice storage on or off for each talk group, control the transmission relays on off timeout, which I feel is an underrated function of these pagers because sometimes you don't want the constant roar of tones blowing up the pager. A lot of users have complained that the tones get out of hand to the point where I decided to turn tones off when I program the pagers. Uh, the PPS software is free and the information for this software along with messages from the manufacturer are rubber banded to the pager. The software is PC compatible like every other scanner and tones can be turned on easily in the software. With that said, many of the functions of the software aren't easily navigatable, which is why we offer the first 10 talk groups or frequencies free of charge. Just based on the time we have to put into programming these pagers, we need to charge for anything more than basic programming, but 10 talk groups give you a good head start. So I'm going to show you some of the functions of the scanner. So this is the back button. This is the message box where all of your recordings go. And this is how you go to each zone. Right now this one isn't programmed. So the G4 and the G5 are essentially the same. It's just a difference in bands. Um, that's the most common question with all of our unication orders is which band type do I need? Um, it's pretty simple. It's just basically the frequency range that your area is in. Uh, just give us a call or shoot us an email to ask us which um, pager you need and what band range you need for your area. So yeah, that's basically uh, Unication pagers. This right here is the 136 to 174 band G5 and it has UHF and VHF available. Most of these pagers are also DMR capable. I believe in the model number it should indicate somewhere either 64 or 67. 
I believe it's 64, but if you're worried about DMR capability, also give us a call, shoot us an email, um, and it is available afterwards to be downloaded to uh, make sure that your pager is DMR capable. Uh, it is free of charge. We can also download that on a pager that isn't already DMR capable. So this is the Unication pre-programming software or PPS and this is the user guide giving you some basic information on how to use it. Uh, today I'm just going to give you an overview of PPS, show you this tab right here with all the steps to programming. In the future I will give a more in-depth uh, overview of the software and I will actually program a pager and show you really step by step how to do it. Uh, but today I'm just going to show you the setup really. Um, so to create a profile I usually have to do read profile from device and I will connect the pager to my PC with the USB cable. Um, just like any other scanner programming software, it is only PC compatible. Um, you could create a new profile with this uh, drop down menu here, but sometimes models aren't included and some that don't even exist are included on this list. So I just do read profile from device, you know, mess with anything. Pager will connect. To the software and tell you which model it is. <clears throat> From there, just one trick here. If you lose the programming somehow or you want to give a copy of your programming to a friend to write to their pager, you can program from existing profile or you can view or edit ex existing profile here. And there's import and export. You can export a profile and just send it via email to whoever needs it. Uh, just an exact replica of the programming that you have. And you can import that the same way on the F tab here. And that's basically all I really want to show you for now. But yeah, this is the PPS software. It's not the prettiest and uh, it's not uh, the most intuitive, straightforward program, but uh, it gets the job done. And really it's tough to miss a step because you go A through G. Hope you enjoyed this Unication G4 and G5 introduction video. Hit the like if you like, and please subscribe to learn more. I'm Garrett from Zip Scanners where we make scanning easy. We're open seven days a week. You can call us at 737-777-9876 with free shipping, no taxes, and lifetime technical support from experts like me. Thanks.